Picture this. It's a quiet evening in the early 1980s. You're lounging on your shag carpet. The soft glow of your vintage television casting dancing shadows across the room. You're flipping through the channels, hoping to stumble upon something that would tickle your funny bone, when suddenly you encounter a police squad, a series that would forever redefine your notion of comedic brilliance. The show's slapstick humor, deadpan delivery, and outrageously absurd plots drew you in like a magnet. From the very first episode, you were introduced to the bumbling yet oddly effective detective, Frank Drebin, portrayed by none other than the incomparable Leslie Nielsen. His antics, coupled with the zany ensemble of characters, and the show's penchant for breaking the fourth wall, left you in stitches, wondering if your ribs could handle the relentless laughter. But what truly made Police Squad? Legendary were those unforgettable moments that etched themselves into your memory. The sheer unpredictability of the show, the sight gags that caught you off guard, and the rapid-fire wordplay that had you doubled over with laughter. Perhaps it was the iconic freeze frame endings or the over-the-top puns that kept you coming back for more. Now, as we dive into some remarkable facts about this timeless gen, be prepared to embark on a journey down memory lane, reliving those moments of unadulterated hilarity that Police Squad delivered with unparalleled finesse. So, grab your magnifying glass, holster your giggles, and let's unravel the behind-the-scenes tales and trivia that make Police Squad a true classic in the annals of television history. It's time to shine a spotlight on the brilliance that Wasen still is thy's unforgettable series. Police Squad was a groundbreaking television series that aired in 1982, created by the brilliant minds behind Airplane. Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. This short-lived show, comprising just six episodes, introduced viewers to the zany world of Detective Frank Drebin, portrayed by Leslie Nielsen, a bumbling and clueless cop who managed to solve crimes through sheer absurdity. The series parodied the conventions of police procedural dramas with its deadpan humor, visual gags, and clever wordplay. One of the show's iconic features was its rapid-fire delivery of jokes and sight gags, often packing multiple laughs into a single frame. Nielsen's portrayal of Detective Drebin became an enduring character in his career, known for his unintentional hilarity and stoic demeanor in the face of chaos. Police Squad was also known for its surreal and absurd humor, incorporating running gags, wordplay, and sight gags that rewarded attentive viewers. Despite its cancellation after just one season, Police Squad left an indelible mark on popular culture. It laid the groundwork for the highly successful Naked Gun film series, which continued Drebin's escapades and further cemented Nielsen's status as a comedic legend. The show's influence can be seen in subsequent comedy series and films that embraced its style of rapid-fire humor and absurdity, making it a classic in the realm of cult television. In hindsight, Police Squad was a comedic gem ahead of its time, its impact enduring long after its brief television run. In 1982, the TV series Police Squad graced the small screen with its unique brand of humor and satire. While the show only ran for a single season, it left a lasting mark on comedy. One interesting tidbit from the show's history involves a potential second season. According to Pat Proft, if a second season had been commissioned, a notable gag in the opening credits would have changed. In the original sequence, Abraham Lincoln is shot at but retaliates with a pistol. However, for the second season, this gag was supposed to be replaced by a similar one featuring Mohanda's K. Gandhi wielding a machine gun. This humorous twist was eventually realized in a fake trailer for Gandhi 2 in the movie UHF. The show's ability to blend historical figures and absurdity was a hallmark of its comedic style. Police Squad was known for its quick wit and slapstick humor, and this idea for the second season credits exemplifies the show's commitment to keeping the audience laughing. While Police Squad may not have enjoyed a long run, its impact on comedy can still be felt today, making it a cult classic that continues to entertain viewers with its offbeat humor and clever gags. So, even though Police Squad had a short-lived run, its legacy lives on, thanks to memorable moments like the proposed Gandhi machine gun gag. It's a testament to the show's ability to find humor in the unexpected. In the 1982 TV series Police Squad, several interesting tidbits stand out. 
One notable aspect is how the show's theme song, opening credits, and the character of Lieutenant Frank Drebin all parodied the 1950s series and squad, which starred Lee Marvin as Lieutenant Frank Ballinger. This homage added a comedic twist to the crime drama genre. Additionally, when ABC re-aired all six episodes of Police Squad, during the summer after the series had been canceled, they made an unusual cut. They removed the Rex Hamilton as Abraham Lincoln joke from the show's introduction. This deletion might have left some viewers puzzled, but it's a quirk that adds to the show's unique history. Another quirky detail about Police Squad is a running gag that occurred in the first four episodes. In each of these episodes, Lieutenant Drebin inadvertently ran over a set of objects equal to the episode number. However, this joke did not continue in the fifth or sixth episodes, leaving fans to wonder if the creators intentionally broke the pattern for comedic effect. In summary, Police Squad was a series known for its clever parodies and offbeat humor with references to M-Squad, unexpected edits, and a numerical running gag that added to its distinctive charm. In 1982, the TV series Police Squad made its brief debut on the ABC TV network. The show, a creation of the renowned Abrahams and Zucker Brothers team, was known for its unique humor and slapstick style. However, it faced an untimely cancellation after just six episodes. ABC Entertainment President Tony Tomopoulos gave an unusual reason for the cancellation, stating that the viewer had to watch it in order to appreciate it. This explanation didn't sit well with TV Guide magazine, which criticized it as the most stupid reason a network ever gave for ending a series. Interestingly, despite the public outcry, the producers of Police Squad were secretly relieved by the cancellation. They believed that they were rapidly running out of story material and had lost confidence in their ability to sustain the show for a full season. Fortunately, this premature cancellation led to a silver lining. The creators found a new home for their brand of humor in theatrical films, starting with The Naked Gun from the files of Police Squad. This transition offered them a medium with inherently less demanding production schedules, allowing them to continue the series on the big screen successfully. Police Squad was not just known for its quirky humor, but also for the intentional misuse of its protagonist Frank Drebin's rank. Drebin, played by Leslie Nielsen, would often announce himself as Lieutenant Drebin, only to have others immediately introduce him as Captain Drebin. This running gag added a distinctively amusing subtlety to the show, a trademark of the Abrahams and Zucker Brothers team. After the success of the Naked Gun films, Police Squad, found a new audience when Comedy Central and CBS re-aired all six episodes during the summer of 1991. Producers had hoped to include John Belushi's guest star appearance in an episode titled Police Squad, Testimony of Evil, but the footage could not be located and is now presumed lost or destroyed. In the end, Police Squad may have been short-lived on television, but its legacy lives on in the hearts of comedy enthusiasts. It showed that sometimes, even a premature cancellation can lead to bigger and better things in the world of entertainment. As we bid adieu to this journey down memory lane, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the timeless gem that is the 1982 TV series, Police Squad. Whether it's the slapstick humor, the deadpan delivery of Frank Drebin, or those unforgettable visual gags, Police Squad has etched itself into the annals of television history, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. Perhaps you remember those uproarious moments when Leslie Nielsen's impeccable comedic timing had you in stitches, or maybe it's the show's clever parodies and witty wordplay that still resonate with you. Whether you watched it during its original run or discovered it later through streaming services, Police Squad has a way of uniting generations through laughter and satire. Now, it's your turn to share. What are your fondest memories of Police Squad? Which moments still make you chuckle uncontrollably? And how has this quirky series left an imprint on your own sense of humor? Feel free to drop your thoughts and cherished recollections in the comments below, and let's celebrate the joy this show has brought to all of us. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us, and for sharing your thoughts on Police Squad. Your engagement is what makes our community so special. Until next time, keep the laughter alive and the memories of Police Squad close to your heart with sincere appreciation.